Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to really quickly go over uh, something about this uh, espresso machine right here, Hamilton Beach uh, espresso machine. I think it's called like a double cup cup espresso. But uh, anyways, so I got this um, for free the other day, and um, it wasn't quite working. Uh, when I turned it on, uh, the it would just kind of make a noise as if the pump was trying to do something, but nothing was happening. No steam was running, no espresso was being uh, made. Um, so, I went ahead and I opened it up, and I just wanted to, you know, show you guys, because I can't stand the fact that these days uh, we've got all these electrical devices, and uh, when things break, you're not meant to fix them. Uh, so I was determined to try to fix this one. So. Basically, the top of this comes off, uh, or I should say it's not supposed to come off. They don't want you to take it off. So, um, they've got, if you see this little hole here, and uh, there's another one here. Basically, it's held on by clips. So, using a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, I very carefully pried it away from this edge, and from moving from the front backwards, I, I pulled away the edge. Now this is why I say they don't want you to take it apart because it's got these little screws here. I guess my camera is not going to focus on that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty aggravating. But okay, uh, basically the screw you can't see it very well. It's got no. Uh, it's not that it doesn't have any thread, but there's no like a, uh, I guess fitment, right? So you can't put a flathead. You can't can't put any kind of hex star can't put anything in there. It only screws in one way and you can't unscrew it. So, unfortunately, not knowing that, I broke that. But, if we can move further from that, uh, just forget about that. But I did get it open and uh, this is the inside of the espresso machine. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Actually, let me move it over to the light. I thought uh, it was pretty neat. So, basically, this is the uh, water container. And if you open up the water container, which slides out like so, there's kind of a nipple there. Water goes in through there. And inside there, there's an uh, inlet, I guess, a little hole for the pump. Okay. So, what uh, I did... When I got this, this is a second hand, right? So it was all nasty because the person had left it in the garage for like, uh, I, I don't even know how long. It, it, the, my impression was that somebody made an espresso and then left it in the garage for like a year. So it was pretty gross. So I cleaned it all up and um, I found out that underneath here, okay, right over there, there's a bronze screw in the middle that holds basically uh, a filter right before your espresso cup. So right before this, there's another filter, right, and that holds it up. And uh, I unscrewed that and put all those parts in hot water. They had a bunch of, uh, I guess, corrosion on them from sitting so long. Uh, clean that up with hot water, put it back together, um, and while actually before while it was apart, I tried running it, and uh, what ended up happening is there was this huge gush of white gook uh, blew out of the bottom of this, and uh, apparently what that was was uh, just a bunch of uh, of uh, older water, I guess, that had been sitting there for so many months. And it had clogged up the lines and it blew out, like bang, a big bang, right? And um, that was one thing. Now, the second thing that happened is once that was working, uh, it still didn't do much. So I found out with the, the outlet is unplugged, right? It's not in the wall. It's unplugged, right? Be careful with that. Um, I found out that this is, uh, this is the pump. This is a heating element. It gets extremely hot when you turn it on. And I think also it probably pressurizes the espresso and the mister. But initially, this is the main pump, right, that brings water from the container to here. And uh, what I did is uh, I took off these two contacts. I cleaned them off and put them back on, 
tried to run it again, didn't work. I hit this pump with uh, a little uh, screwdriver, right? I knocked it like six or seven times. And then, uh, and then, believe it or not, it just turned right on and started to work. And right now, although it looks like crap, right, it works. And um, I was pretty excited about that. Just wanted to share that really quick. So basically, I think that, one, it was clogged here. Um, with a bunch of old espresso and water, uh, really nasty stuff that I cleaned out. And I think it's sanitary now because the stuff that's coming through here is so hot. Um, I, I think it's killing any germs that might have been in there. Um, and then the other thing is uh, the pump knocking it off. I think that the contacts were fine. They look clean. But actually knocking it, uh, you know, because the, the motor, I guess, got stuck after not being used for a long time. So anyways, I just wanted to uh, show that to you guys. Other than that, I've heard that these are um, great little uh, uh, little espresso machines. They do look pretty cool. You can uh, adjust the steam right here and everything. Um, the only th reason why I think this one wasn't working is simply because it sat so long without ever being switched on. So that's also a piece of good advice. Uh, don't let your devices sit around for probably a year or so without ever switching them on. Definitely don't leave your espresso machine around without ever cleaning out the old coffee before you store it, which is completely nasty, and I've seen that actually a couple of times in like garage sales and stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, you know, I hope this might help somebody someday, uh, you know, in the future. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.